r slash ask reddit people who grew up rich but turned out poor what is your story dad went to jail for housing fraud in 2010 i was in my teens and 10 million dollars was seized went from a 800,000 house to homeless in four days because our family didn't even know he'd been in court for two years my grandparents were very wealthy so they bought my parents a house and basically supported my family, even paying for my school tuition. I wasn't aware of this. Because of this my parents were lazy and never really had jobs. They were always at home and I didn't find any of this unusual. We had extravagant vacations and I remember being given everything I'd ever asked for. But my grandpa died when I was about 10. Grandma following suit soon after and all his kids started fighting over the money. I'm pretty sure they're still fighting. Anyway, soon half the lights in our house didn't work. Our TVs were all broken and our cars broken down and barely usable. I was wearing the same uniform all throughout high school. And as a teenager I wore nothing but hand-me-downs. My allowance decreased instead of increased year by year. There were no more vacations. But my parents wasted the rest of their savings on appearing rich. Buying fancy jewelry and clothes for themselves and shit. Racking up credit card debt. Then they'd host parties for friends and expensive restaurants and I'd feel so angry because back home we'd be eating nothing but canned food. It honestly scarred me so much that my only goal is to become financially stable. And I plan to stay employed without ever retiring because I don't want to be like them. Jobless and stupid. We were really well off in Korea until we moved to America. It seemed like a piece of cake for a family like mine to start life anew with enough financial backings. My father had worked hard for his family. In the first two years of our life in America, my parents were scammed by shady Korean immigration lawyers. Twice. Blew all of their savings and emergency funds. We started from rock bottom again. I remember skipping two meals a day so we could have food to go around everyone. I also remember pulling the plug on the refrigerator because what's the ducking point if there's nothing in it? We don't look back or talk about those times anymore. I grew up rich. I wouldn't say I'm poor but I don't live near as well as my parents. I grew up in a house which Zillow has now valued at 5 million dollars in a very wealthy area. My mom never worked. My dad had an office and employees and besides my mom, three ex-wives. My grandmother and great grandfather came from extreme wealth. And really, it just turned out that my dad, though he was pretending for years to run a business, have an office and be a big important person, never actually made any money. All of it was drawn from a trust that had been set aside for him. And finally when it went dry, it was over. When my parents passed I inherited about $13,000. Met, that's life. I have two siblings that roam the earth thinking there's still something they can capitalize on from all this, some privileged bank of connections they can make withdrawals from, but I've accepted that I'm just ordinary folk. Life doesn't owe me anything. Parents quit a good job cause my dad got tired of the daily repeating pattern. It bored him too much to spend his life on it. It's a pretty short and simple one. My parents are absolutely loaded. My dad was a VP at a major engineering firm. And while they're retired now, they're sitting on about 4 million in the bank and maybe 12 million in investments and stocks and the like. They're also scumbags. My mother is an abusive monster who beat the shit out of me growing up. And my father is an alcoholic who couldn't stop her. So after college, I made it clear I don't want their money or anything to do with them. They use money as control. If they are helping pay for something then they think that gives them broad control over me, so they can go to hell. I've worked for a clean power company my whole adult life, and I've gotten myself to about $60,000 a year. Of course, the pandemic has temporarily turned my job off, but I'm proud of where I've gotten even if it's much lower than how I began. My cousin's wife grew up in a wealthy family. Her father officiated their wedding. They were old money inherited from a few generations of grandparents ago. After years of traveling the world and just mismanaging their money it's all gone. Just decades of spending millions adds up. My dad was a millionaire. Cheated on my mom. My mom left him. He had a mental breakdown. Lost everything. Still trying to get her back 10 years later. My father was in the NFL in the 1980s and early 1990s. We lived quite well during my childhood. Large house on a golf course. Four cars. Private school. Etc. 
but once he retired it was over almost immediately. Not because he was financially imprudent, but because it was clear he might not ever earn another paycheck in his life at age 33. So we moved away back to Michigan in a nice, if not flashy house and lived a very average suburban existence within his means. My parents are still together and have no regrets about slowing the spending down post-career. If I had been older and used to that lifestyle as a teenager as opposed to a child, I can imagine I'd have been a ducking brat about the whole ordeal. Until I was 10, my family seemed to have an ideal life. Beautiful house, s, in a very wealthy beachfront town, expensive cars, summer camps, and everything else a kid could want. My dad was a dentist and my mom was just starting work as real estate broker. She said her money was fun money. Dad paid the bills. But, unbeknownst to us, dad didn't pay the bills. He was living a double life with our babysitter. They even had their own house. My parents split and weeks later, the bank took our house. We, my mom and us three kids, were out on our asses. My dad has taken whatever was left of the money, not much, and destroyed my mom's credit with bankruptcies and delinquencies she didn't know about. We struggled for many years and had lots of help from family friends. There were many birthdays and holidays with no gifts and lots of pasta for dinner. My mom could stretch a dollar pretty well since she had grown up with not much money. Now, 30 years later, my mom has become successful financially through lots of hard work. My dad is still with my old babysitter. He retired, he was forced to sell his practice because of lots of bad business practices, and is now working a minimum wage job and living in near poverty. Calm as a beach. Edit. I have nothing against pasta. My point was that pasta is, relatively, cheap. No more steak and potatoes. Thanks guys. Went from very well off to middle class. Grew up in Peru. My family was involved in government and acting. We appeared in a few shows. My mom was the face of a detergent brand. My sister was the face of some brand of cereal. I was doing commercials weekly. Being well off in the Latin American country was dangerous in the 90s. Still is. You have no idea. My mom had an armored car. We had shared guards with the other houses in my small block. We got followed all the time. Robbed at gunpoint. Moving to America to be safe meant losing it all and starting over. We cried in the plane. My mom even worked at Subway with my sister so we could get by. Now we live a nice secure life in Florida and I wouldn't go back. My dad had a stroke, and the complications from that, the medical bills, and my mother becoming his caretaker led us to eventual homelessness over the course of 5 years. This was in the late 90s early 2000s. By the time I was 18 we had almost no assets because of medical costs. I became a teacher, and I'm now lower middle class and working toward middle class. My wife works for a non-profit which helps people attain financial stability. I grew up in a wealthy part of the United States, and everyone I went to school with had wealthy parents. It's amazing how many of these children are now mediocre at best and not high income earners. There was an assumption that if they simply went to college graduated and got a job, they'd be as successful as their parents, when they weren't. They felt the world was unfair and became apathetic. My parents neighborhood has homes in the 2 to 20 million dollars range and about 50% of the houses now have adult children in their 50s living with 80 year old parents. From birth to about 8 years of age I lived in Mexico with my parents. My dad was a truck driver in the United States. With the income he was getting. Living in Mexico was awesome. We weren't rich. We lived in decent homes and had a decent life. Most of the money went to helping other family, food and going out, but to me we lived very good. I don't remember my parents ever stressing about anything financial. Last thing I remember before migrating to the US was the Twin Towers. When we came over living expenses increased. We lived in my uncle's house in the living room for about a year. After that we rented a room from a family in a bad area. I remember I couldn't go out the front entrance of the apartments one morning for school. Because someone got stabbed. Two years later we got our first apartment. We had no furniture whatsoever. No appliances. We each had a box of clothes. That night we had our first dinner. It was Chinese takeout and we were using an ice chest as a table. Buckets for chairs. We felt happiness and a relief to finally have a place to call our own. It's a beautiful memory for me. Thanks for reading. Well, 
Not exactly rich but my family was making a fair sum when I was a kid. Then there were mass layoffs and now we live paycheck to paycheck. It's not that we don't make enough money it's just that my parents, with all the respect, are financial imbeciles. On the bright side seeing them as an example of what not to do I learned everything there is to learn about personal finance and a fair bit about business. On the stupid side I've, repeatedly, explained to my parents all the necessary steps for them to get out of their financial problems but as my mom put it if I can't spend my money then what's the point in even working like seriously woman. You can spend your money but not ducking all of it. P.S. Sorry for the rant had to get that off my chest. My stepdad managed a casino and my mom was a really well known real estate agent. Before they separated, their combined salaries was in the millions. My stepdad was very good with saving money and my mom was not. They split up. My mom proceeded to pay cash for a house in an upscale neighborhood. Bought a Porsche, a large truck, dirt bikes, computers and everything else she wanted that my stepdad told her no for. She started dating young guys, and would pay for them to go to Aruba, the Bahamas, Dubai, etc. She was living a very carefree life. Originally I didn't take work or school seriously as a teenager because I was essentially spoiled. I had a terrible work ethic and I knew my college was going to be paid for regardless. Then the housing market collapsed in 2007. My mom lost her clients. Her couple dozen investment houses she purchased, and had no income. She had to sell all of her material possessions. Her young boyfriend left her, etc. She took her last $300,000 and opened a very niche store which failed after a year. She filed bankruptcy. I joined the military and left with $37 to my name. I had to learn work ethic. I had to learn how to learn. But overall I've had a very successful career so far. My mom married a doctor to stay afloat and still always talks about how she's going to make lots of money again to buy us all houses. Truth. Didn't realize how wealthy we were growing up. I knew we were well off. But I definitely believed we were firmly middle class. Looking back though. If we were middle class we were the top 5%. And there is no way my dad stepmom are middle class anymore. Although my mom might still fit the description. I don't think we were ever spoiled kids except maybe my younger brother. As we generally followed rules. Respected our parents. Did chores we were asked etc. That said. We had every game system. We all had computers. TVs in our bedrooms. Christmas always involved a lot of presents. Typically with one big gift for each person. Like a PS4 for my brother. Our house was a big 5 bedroom place with a pool and a built in waterfall water slide in the suburbs. Pretty much we were well behaved kids who as a result tended to get anything we asked for. I'm now 29. Married. With a decent job and yet I feel like I am so far away from that kind of financial affluence. We are still paying off debt from when we were in college. We rent a house. But can't afford to buy one yet. We make ends meet, but by no means keep up with any tech trends. Saving for a switch sometime next year. By contrast, my dad and stepmom own 6 properties now. Both are extremely successful in their careers. I think now I am actually middle class. And it makes the grass look a lot greener from before. Not me, but my ex. Her family owned a retail business and was fairly wealthy. At some point I think the number I was given was about 30 million dollars. I repeatedly suggested that they set some money aside. I'm not an expert but small businesses can go under in the blink of an eye and it just made sense that they put away some savings just in case. Every time I brought it up I was told that I was being stupid and that real business owners don't save anything. They invest all of their earnings back into their business. Eventually I stopped bringing it up so they'd stop making me feel like shit for being concerned. And eventually after that our relationship ended. Last I spoke to her they were in the process of losing everything. The rise of online retail had absolutely ruined them. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Grew up rich in Pakistan until my mother got ill and made a string of bad choices in her business. Her business partner took off with the money, went from rich to homeless. Luckily my father still had his well paying job, so we could slowly start to rebuild. There was a lot of loan to pay back, which my father and mother managed. Mother started from scratch again. 
Whereas I moved out to Germany on a loan from friends to study further and currently am doing my PhD. Which doesn't really pay much but to be honest I don't care as long as it is enough to feed me and I get to do what I love. I was born into what pretty much was poverty in eastern Russia, moved to Australia with my mum where she met and married my dad. They started a business when I was about 9 or 10 which took off and I clearly remember suddenly having a lot more nice food. For example mum started buying bread from the bakery and no longer bought those plastic cheese squares. I also was suddenly signed up for art and dance classes. They bought a bigger apartment around this time and sent me to an expensive private school while continuing with the extracurriculum activities. I remember mum kept trying to take me shopping which I always refused because when I was little we never bought anything so I felt bad asking for things. Then dad lost his business and mum's business also took a hit so they went from both incomes to essentially half of hers. I was living in uni at this time so I was definitely a student and living on a budget but a main thing I noticed was how stressed they had become and how they no longer had inner parties. They're doing better now. But I would say they're more middle class. I think it affected my younger brothers more since they grew up during the wealthy period while I still remember mum not being able to afford things like grapes and yogurt. Edit. My bio dad still lives in Russia. I refer to my stepdad as dad and always have to clear up any confusion. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. 